Hi everyone. In uh, today's uh, short video, I will explain what is the role of the pressure vacuum valve, also known as PV valves, on ships, and that is mainly tankers. So many tankers have pressurized tanks on their ships, and those pressurized tanks are used for liquids that need to be stabilized and stored under pressure, such as liquefied petroleum gas LPG, liquefied nitro natural gas LNG and liquid nitrogen. So to explain simply, many of these gases are carried in liquid form and many of uh, the oil tankers or chemical tankers also carry cargo in liquid form which due to the movement of the vessel and due to changing temperatures do evaporate and that evaporate, evaporation releases gases or creates gases in the tanks which need to be always maintained under a positive pressure to prevent any kind of uh, fire occurring because uh, those gases are flammable vapors and on the introduction of a spark or the introduction of any kind of a source of fire can create fire. So because there is a pressure that is maintained which we call as a positive pressure there is a valve which keeps the tank over pressure or under pressure within approved, approved limits. So the pressure vacuum valve provides for the flow of small volumes of vapor, air or inert gas mixtures caused by thermal variations in a cargo tank. So what happens is the vacuum valve located over the cargo tank will open if the pressure in the tank falls below a preset level to draw air into the tank through a flame trap. Now what you see in the picture is of course tank going out, uh, air going out. You can see the escaping gas shown by the way of arrows. Now this happens in the event of overpressure. So if the tank is uh, overpressured, two release valves open up to ensure that the venting is upwards and at high velocity. That's why these are also called high speed pressure valves. And they are called high speed pressure valves because they release the pressure quickly and it avoids concentration of gases on deck. And these release the gases and you can see this is one way movement. So here the gas is escaping out of the tank. Whereas in the next slide, I'll show you how the air goes inside the tank. And the air goes inside the tank is when the pressure in the tank starts falling, falling below a preset level. So in this screen here, you can see how the air is going inside the tank and you can see it's always one way movement. So while the air is going inside the tank, it does not allow any air to escape out of the tank. And similarly, when the air is escaping out of the tank, it will not allow any air to go inside the tank. So you can see through the arrows and by comparing the pictures from the previous slide, that there is only one way movement. So in these high speed pressure valves, they are actually tank vents with the special characteristics that they let the gas escape only when a certain overpressure is reached and not before that. And the velocity of the escaping gas is so high. They say it's a minimum of, minimum of about 30 meters per second that it can never catch fire. And that was the main concern, isn't it? So I told you the main concern was that these cargoes they can evaporate and that creates a mixture of flammable vapors above the cargo above the cargo so any introduction of uh, any source of fire even a spark can create an explosion or create a risk of fire now with these gases escaping they can escape so fast that it doesn't catch fire so the gas rapidly diffuses into air it rapidly mixes into the air and does not go back to the ship and that is the use of a pressure vacuum valve on the vessel and this is the role they play in the safety of especially on tankers they play a role a big role in the safety of tankers so this question is often asked of students um, especially if they have never sailed on tankers and they belong to cargo ships or offshore vessels they are intentionally asked this question in the oral examination because the surveyor wants to know whether you know about these uh, the safety functions of these valves or not all right, so I'll see you soon with my next video, guys. All the best for your studies and let me know what you think about these videos and how I can improve them.
bye for now